Welcome to Dr. Saying Stuff, a show in collaboration with the Association for Healthcare and Social Media, a place where we talk about medical topics that you're all curious about. Today, we're going to talk about autism spectrum disorder. A lot of people who have autism express feeling misunderstood or judged, even though they have their own strengths and motivations. Joining us today is the fabulous and knowledgeable Dr. Kristen Soul. First question, Dr. Soul, it's important we start out with the overview. How do you define autism spectrum disorder and what are the most common presenting symptoms? After a lot of understanding and conversations with experts and with autistic people, uh, it became clear that actually the phrase autism spectrum uh, encompasses everyone on that spectrum. And so thinking about what does that mean? So Asperger's used to mean somebody who, you know, maybe have a lot of verbal skills, but had a harder time with social interactions. And now we understand that to just be part of that autism spectrum. Indicators of autism are things like differences in eye contact, differences in how we approach other people for social communication. Also, some other indicators of autism are things like repetitive behaviors, or for example, some people call this stimming. Some people say that um, repetitively using your hands like flapping or spinning or pacing are examples of repetitive behaviors that you might see in an autistic person. And Dr. Soul, how do you definitively diagnose a child as having ASD or autism spectrum disorder? So an autism diagnosis is made up of three parts. It's made up of a direct behavioral observation. We're really looking at how is this kiddo or this person interacting with others? What does that look like? Is it what we would expect from a typical interaction pattern? Or are there some differences that might explain some challenges or some differences that that person might be having? The other component to autism diagnosis is that really comprehensive history. We really wanna understand that kiddo from birth all the way up into that moment that we're seeing them. And last but certainly not least, it's clinical expertise. It takes a lot to be able to understand autism, to be able to understand development. And so you want somebody who has a lot of clinical expertise looking at your child or yourself, if you're an adult or an adolescent, and really being able to understand what's going on. There must be a lot of questions for a family if their child gets this diagnosis. What are the next steps after the diagnosis? What does treatment look like? Here's the thing. We want to make sure that every person is able to achieve the things that they are wanting to achieve for themselves. So things like getting into early intervention, if you're a, a small child, um, having uh, your parents really work hard to get you into the interventions that can be helpful to help you gain the skills to communicate or to communicate effectively, however that may look. It's not all about the words that we say. It's also about the ways that we interact and how other people are able to communicate with you and on your behalf or help you to communicate the things that matter to you. And Dr. Soul, what are the common misconceptions about autism spectrum disorder? One of the biggest myths about autism is that people with autism are not able to contribute that people with autism are not able to do the things that all the rest of us can do. That's a myth that really bothers me. Every one of us is unique and every one of us is different. Autism is absolutely no different. So get to know autistic people. So that's a really important piece that I hope all of you listening will take home and recognize that no matter who you are, you contribute to this great world we live in. And so finding those things that we can all do uh, and that we contribute is very, very important. Dr. Soul, for real, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. And also, newsflash, sometimes social media fear mongers and spreads misinformation. So make sure you always go to a place where you know the info is legit. Like us. Hey! Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. We'll be sure to return and talk to you next time here on Doc Saying Stuff.